Okay. Is it recording? Okay, that is recording. Okay, let's see. Out is full. String. You're going to want 9.5 string. Most we do. If you buy a homeowner one, you might want smaller, but most we do. 9.5 string. This is the Pro Line string, which is really fancy and expensive, but you can go 080 for your homeowner ones, or you can go 9.5 for your commercial ones. Bumper head, string, snips. It's about three arm lengths. So I have a method where when I count the string to about three arm lengths, I do the same technique each time because you want both sides to be even. So just one arm length. Okay. Oh, it's fucking humid in here. It's like 85 degrees outside. And this box of the warehouse is sitting on the corner. Now, this stupid string. It's all curled up, but I like it. It's kind of head durable. It's a CF3 Pro still string with this 095. Two sides of string. They're both, you know, 15 feet. You can buy these whole spools of string. They last forever commercially. I mean, we have them for freaking over, well over a month per spool. Now, I don't know if you can see this right. But there's basically a wind line indicator on these bumper heads. And inside these bumper heads are these little notches in here that you look at the wind line, you look at the holes in them. And you want to do the one towards the bottom of the bumper head first. So you put this into the bumper head and you follow the wind line, which is, which is clockwise. So then you, once you put it all the way into that hole, now you try to wind this side and you want to stay tight. So. Every time you make this loose by accident, it will cause a lot of vibration. It will cause it to not bump. It will cause a string to mold to itself. And you'll have to take this all apart and redo it. Now, when you get to the end of the string, you're going to decide when you want to pop into this little string guide thing, which is more just, it's just a holder. You're going to take it out of there when you put it in the weed web. Anyways, so get that fucker in there. Come on. There we go. That's one side done. So that's that's the first side. Now take your other 15 feet of string, and it's the same deal. You're gonna have another one of those holes to put the string in. You have to push it all the way in. Now since I just took this bumper head out of the box here, I've been using the same weed whip over and over. I've been three spool and one weed whip. I don't have a spring in this bumper head, so I'll have to show you some more stuff. Same deal, clockwise, winding it tight. Try not to hit these little notches that cause you to mess up yourself while you're spooling it. And then you don't want it to, you know, run out of strain in the end, but you know, if you don't make it perfect, you'll get a little scenario over like this where you've got some excess strain. So now I'm gonna need a weed whip. I'm gonna see if I can get one of these ones I use over here. Ugh. See what situation they're in. I don't want to waste anything anymore. This is the one I don't like to use anymore. It's pretty tired, it's pretty old, it's super light, but it can balance itself. Not that I recommend it. The uh, 111 RX. So, on these still heads, they have a cap that goes on over the bumper head. So, when you first get the weed whip, you're going to have something like this. It's going to be all together and it's going to have 095 round string in it. There's like a little thumb press button on each side. You can pop in and then you pull the cap and the cap comes out. You want to try and pull it evenly on both sides, push the button on both sides at the same time. So the cap comes off. Once you have this whole cap off, we now have a bumper head. This is where it gets complicated. This is where most people fuck everything up. This weed is almost out of string. So essentially, right where the two string guides, where the string's going to go in, there's a spot underneath this that this bumper head sits on when you're putting it together. So what you have to do is you have to push in, because this is spring loaded, there's a spring there, and twist it off of that piece. 
and it will come off. Now, if you do this with full spool spray string, this will come shooting out. Now, this spool is a balance because, you know, rookie's using it. So one side's stuck, one side's almost empty, and one's got a bunch in it. What I'm looking for is this spring, because there's a spring on this bumper head. This spring is what allows you to bump feed your weed whip. So I'm going to come over here. There's two spring guides, so these little pieces you can lose. These come out when you take off the cap and the bumper head and there's no spring holding in there. They only go on one way. They're really easy to lose. So I'm gonna take this, this spring from the bumper head that was on that weed because I'm using a different, different bump head. Now if you only have one bump head, when you take the bump head out, the spring will be on it, you'll be fine. But since this is a spare bumper head, because we have like eight of them in there, I have to swap springs. So you'll see a little tiny indent in these heads. It's this little notch up here. It's like a little U-shaped notch. That's where you need to push down while spring side while this thing is opened up. So you need to look for the string guide on one side. And you'll take the string guide, and you'll take the notch, and you'll line it up with it. You'll rotate it a little bit to the side. You'll push all the way back, and you'll twist. Now, it should sit in there for a minute. Now, you've got your string in your string guides. This is where the dexterity part comes in, where you have to take the string out without letting it unspool, and put it through the string guide, pull it back, and hold it. Same deal on both sides. And sometimes it's difficult because the string gets in there, it gets really tight, you push it back, try and get it out. But if you accidentally untwist this, this whole fucking thing will come undone, which is what I'm worried about right now because the string doesn't want to freaking come out. So I am having a serious technical difficulty with this string. Come on. This is what you worry about when you're showing this bumper head. Now I have this string that is now loose. So this is the terrible time when you have to try and hold both sides. And since this side got really loose, I have to go backwards and un unwind it and retighten it, reset everything. Terrible, my job. These things are really just holders because it's impossible to do this with one hand all at once. Same deal, push it in. Out of the spring guy. Should come out easier now. They weren't wedged in there all the way. Now you've got the string in the string guys. You have it rotated behind the string guide holder. You put your cap back in. It only lines up one way. There's two tabs and there's two holes where you push those thumb things out. Pops on. Now, if you've done things, everything right at this point, you should be able to grab both sides of the string and the bumper head will pop out. Now, you should be good to go. And you still, weed whips have a guard on it with a metal blade at the end that cuts the string. So let's see if this sucker starts. I haven't used it forever. I don't use this one anymore. I used it last year. Have to poke it, grind it. So it took a minute to cut off because I made it uneven. It will only be as long as up to where that cutter is. So when you start up the squeeze hook, all you have to do is tap that bumper head that's spring loaded. When you want more strength, you tap it on the ground. Hard surfaces, bricks, concrete are going to be your best bet. You have to give it full power gas after you tap it so that it can cut the string. If you try to tap it on the grass and the bumper head is just not bumping very well, you're just going to make a big circle in the ground until you figure out a better place to bump it at. Tap the ground, get new strength, and now on Sunday or Monday when I decide to mow some more lawns, the backup weed book now has a full spool of strength, and it's the better strength. That's how you spool a weed book.
at least here, because I'm not using speed feed. I don't like speed feed. Peace out.